been working on this 1970s Hanamex E300 film editor and I've been fitting an LCD screen to it. In the last video, took all the insides out and made the cuts I needed to fit the screen. And also fitted a power socket. And now I can fit in the screen so that slots nicely into the cut I made last time. So now that's in place, what we should do is just run a quick test to make sure it works before we work on it a bit more. So we temporarily fitted the electronics on the back there, pop it all together and let's power it up, see if it works. And yes, it does. We're not supplying it with any HDMI input at this point. Okay, so now we're going to fit uh, a HDMI pass-through and a headphone socket. And what I did first was I cut a piece of wood just to make sure that the holes were the right size. So I went for the smaller hole and I'm then going to file around that to increase the diameter. So I drilled some holes in the case. widen that hole a little bit. Pretty much perfect fit there. You can see the contacts coming through the back now. Then I'm using a file to just increase that diameter, make it a really nice fit for this to come through. Not quite there yet. However, it works really well the other way around and I actually quite like this compared to feeding it through. And then what we can do is uh, drill out the holes that it needs and then we can fit the screws through there and then bolt them in place. There we go, all bolted, pretty secure. And what we're going to do is use a very short HDMI cable to pass that signal through. Next, I'm going to glue the board to the back of the screen. Now, at first, I used super glue and then let that dry for a little bit, um, but it wasn't that secure. In the end, I switched it over to use epoxy resin, and that was perfect. It's a lot more resilient. On this board, there is a four pin header for a speaker. The, uh, the connectors were really quite close together. I was going to solder it on direct. Um, and uh, decided not to. So I bought some adapters off AliExpress uh, with quite long cables, fed those through uh, and then soldered the ends directly to uh, the speaker. Now I chose a speaker that was small enough to fit in the front compartment. Now I tested the wires just to make sure that it all worked before soldering this in place. I'm only using two of them, uh, like the left channel. And then I can fit that in place. If I sort of turn it round, it will uh, pull those wires nice and taut. There it is in place, and then the cover still fits over the top. There is a little hole here that uh, runs to the front, and I can, if I can glue this in place, uh, this is the infrared receiver for the board, uh, a remote control signal can actually get through. So I blue tacked it in place, just checked it, and then I used a glue gun to stick that where it needed to be. And I hooked up the small HDMI cables. I actually had two, so it sort of fits together and uh, gives me a bit of space when this has been disassembled or reassembled. And in the next video, I'll show you how things turned out. This video is part of a playlist, so if you fancy watching the other parts, please do check those out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.